much for the convenience, but due to COVID-19, this park is currently closed. So with COVID-19 coming upon us and not having really ways to deal with certain things, we partnered with DJI Disaster Relief Program, and they loaned us two drones that have speakers built on the top of them. Uh, where that's coming in handy for us is we're deploying them into the city parks, the city owned property, and flying them over because all our parks are currently closed. And we're able to make an announcement basically says because of COVID-19, the parks are currently closed. Uh, we've had great success with it. We've put it in pretty much all the city parks at this point in the last week or so. The reason we're doing this is uh, the public right now is with the virus, I don't know who has it. You don't know if I have it. It's a two way street. So the best way to keep us from sharing it with each other and making this virus continue to grow is to reduce the amount of contact that we have with people. So what we're doing with the drone is reducing the officer having to go out there, walk into the park property, walk into a crowd of people, share those germs back and forth just to deliver a message that the park's closed, don't be in here. Something else that we've decided to do is we, in case we need it, we're not implementing it yet, but we use one of our larger drones that has the FLIR system, the forward looking infrared, which is able to see heat signatures. So what you would see normally is if you're in the normal range that we set, you're gonna be kind of a, an orangish color, light oranges. If you start hitting the red, then you're hitting, getting into the higher temperature, the threshold of having a fever. With the temperature thing, again, it's something we wanna to try to see. If we get to that point, we can put it in the lobby and just, just a quick scan of people's temperature when they walk in, make sure that they're not having a raging fever when they walk in. That's we know is one of the key indicators for uh, COVID-19. Just to be clear, you said it could pick up the temperature of someone with high fever among a crowd? Yes. So if I was aiming at a crowd of people and somebody in there had a, if it was 98.6 degrees or whatever the new normal is, 97 something, and somebody had 102 fever, they would be red in the crowd of orange people. And if, you, if you're interested in a drop cook dem demo, let me know and I'll have him fly out over the lake and drop something in the lake for you. Dropping. In situations where we can't get into or it's not safe to go into, we can send our drone and we could drop material people. That could be anything from the life preserver that you just seen us drop in the lake to somebody drowning to a box of gloves, medication, a phone for a hostage situation. How important is this program for your department, Sarge? I think it's really important right now because we're starting to run into the situation where we can only do so much without having to come face to face with people that, that may or may not have the virus. We need something where we can start bridging that gap a little bit to me coming face to face with you and me getting you the message remotely. Uh, if we, of course we could call people and tell them and take their complaints over the phone, but I can't call the guy walking in the park. I can't call the crowd that's hanging out in front of a store uh, sharing the virus. I can't call them. So what's, what's our other option? Send the officer there. So I think in terms of keeping officers safe, I think it's very important. This is the Daytona Beach Police Department. You are in violation of the current curfew. Please return home immediately.